That's me actually taking off my thumb. That's <laughs> <laughs> impressive. I learned I am a specter. <laughs> Your thumb trick makes me want to keep Christmas in my heart all year round. <laughs> well, uh, I look like Sinterklaas. <laughs> I'm actually more of a Krampus. <laughs> our, our next guest is neither royalty or a ghost. He's famous for who uh, cares? <laughs> Uh, we put you in descending order of excitement. Our next guest has uh, written a number of commercial jingles. Please welcome here to share some of them with you, new fans. Yeah. Hello, Adam. Hello, Adam. Uh, uh, we've got quite a show going tonight. I'm glad to add you to it. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> now, uh, Newt, you've written a ton of jingles. What led you to jingle writing? I don't like writing complete songs. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you picked the perfect niche. I'm incapable of it, Adam. <laughs> Did you attempt? And, 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 <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, uh, what was your first jingle you ever wrote? The first jingle I ever wrote was for coffee. <laughs> what, what brand of coffee? Folgers Coffee. I was nine years old. <laughs> uh, and would you mind just sharing that one with us real quick? Sure. Folgers wakes you up. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. so, because you have so many jingles, we picked a specific area of your jingles. Uh, to, to be shared here tonight. I've written so many, Adam. You really have. <laughs> We're selling that as much as we can. You, uh, uh, I know you've, you've written quite a few about uh, baking supplies. That's right, Adam. So, uh, well, what's the first one of those you're going to share with us? And what product is it for? It's for Gary's Vanilla Extract. Gary's Vanilla Extract? Uh, people use that to make cakes and all sorts of things. Gary's Vanilla Extract. When fantasy meets reality, <laughs> Gary's Vanilla Extract. <laughs> that's, that's interesting. You know, a lot of jingles rhyme. Uh, they do? <laughs> you're the, you're the right, you're the right. It does make me very excited to try that Vanilla Extract. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next product you have for it? Cinnamon Raisin Toast, Adam. <laughs> Cinnamon Raisin Toast? Great, that sounds delicious. Cranky mateys, do you like stuff? Cinnamon Raisin Toast. <laughs> <laughs> what, was the, what was the first two words? Cranky mateys? Cranky mateys, it's... It's an Australian tone. <laughs> <laughs> you get international jingles. I do. Great, what's next? <laughs> the next jingle, Adam, is one that's near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. It's for Fleischmann's yeast. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Fleischmann's yeast, another important baking product. <laughs> Give rise, give rise, use Fleischmann's yeast. <laughs> I love that one. Yes, it's inspirational. Uh, uh, I got one of these, Adam. Oh, yeah. I, now, what does that do exactly? That helps the jingles be different. <laughs> yeah, because they have all sounded very similar. They have sounded, in fact, they follow a very similar pattern all the What? <laughs> Don't worry about it. What's what's the next one? Pants. <laughs> Not a particular brand, just pants. Pants. <laughs> All right, let's hear jingle for pants. Pants can be used to make six things: bread and other breads, and muffins and other breads, and muffins and breads. Other breads? <laughs> what specifically? 
I just write the jingles out. <laughs> Brad, I shouldn't hold you accountable. He's going to do that. <laughs> what's, what's the next round? I worked a long time on this one, Adam. I believe it. This one is from Morton Salt. Morton Salt. Okay, Morton Salt. A desperate man only has one friend. That friend is Morton Salt. <laughs> They gave me two weeks to write it, Adam, so I took the whole time. It's funny because it seems like, I, I, it seems like your jingles made it to in two seconds. Uh, what's the next product you have for it? Tommy's measuring cup. <laughs> All right, Tommy's measuring cup. Adam, I'm reading what's on the card. Okay, Tommy's measuring cup. For when you need to show your wife what's up, Tommy's measuring cup. Excellent. I, I do find that helps to show your wife what's up. I've never met my wife, Adam. I've never met my wife. What's your wife's name? And where is your ring? It's a trick of the trade, Adam. She's an imaginary person. <laughs> I don't, that's not a trick of the trade, that's a lie. <laughs> What's the next product? Arm and Hammer baking soda, Adam. Alright, Arm and Hammer baking soda. You'll never be accused of corporate embezzlement. Arm and Hammer baking soda. <laughs> If you use it, you'll never be accused of corporate embezzlement. Now, why is that? It's a great selling point of their product. <laughs> what about their product stops? That's the corporate right? embezzlement? Yeah. That's the magic of banking. <laughs> All right, you have one more for us. You have one yes. more for us. Yes. What's, what's your more. final product? It's called scones. <laughs>